Hi guys, how are you? And welcome to my Tuesday Talks. Today I have the eight frequently asked questions about crunches. So what we're gonna go over in this video, we're gonna learn the difference between crunches and sit-ups, uh, the benefits, would you get a six pack if you do a lot of crunches, the pointers, the mistakes. So stay with me and let's get started. So number one, what is the difference between the crunches and the sit-ups? So the crunches are gonna isolate the abdominal muscles, the rectus abdominis, which is that muscle that uh, goes along here in the front of our core. So from here to here, which is like our, the six pack. And the sit-up is gonna involve more muscles. So it's gonna involve the chest, the neck, the low back, the hip flexors, and the lower leg muscles when you have them like um, under something for, uh, for more stability, then you're gonna start working your, um, your lower leg muscles. So the crunch is when you just go up a little bit, the sit up is when you go all the way. Benefits, what are the benefits of doing crunches? It improves your balance, why? Because it's going to strengthen your core muscles. So part of your core muscles is going to strengthen them, make them stronger, and it's going to stabilize. And when you stabilize your core, you're going to have better posture. So if this is strong, if they're like letting, letting, lengthen, <laughs> uh, excuse my English, um, because if we spend like a lot of time like just sitting down or crunch down, then these muscles get weaker. So if we get them stronger, then we're gonna stand taller and we're, it's gonna help with our balance too. Number three, this is a very, very common question that I get. Like, um, if I do a lot of crunches every day, am I gonna get a six pack? Um, no. <laughs> Um, the thing is like the doing crunches or doing sit-ups or working out our core is going to make it stronger and yeah like if you use like weighted uh, sit-ups and you know little by little you're going to make those um, you're going to make those muscles more dense it's like you um, when you grow your arm muscles or your leg muscles you know they're going to grow so once you get rid of the layer of fat between that muscle in your skin, then you're gonna, they're gonna start to pop up. But it doesn't have anything to do with the crunches. It has to do more with the kitchen. So how we feed ourselves, how we eat, and when we start losing fat, then they would start popping out. So uh, you can do as many crunches as you want, but if you're not taking care of what you eat, uh, they're not, they're gonna be there, but you can, uh, <laughs> you're not gonna be able to see Should I or can I do crunches every day? We've all heard that like we shouldn't work the same muscle if like two days in a row. Like if we work out biceps today, we're not gonna work biceps tomorrow. The muscle needs to rest. With crunches, um, you can do crunches every day, but I would recommend like um, making like working the different different ways. So maybe one day we work we emphasize on upper abs the other day in lower abs, another day in obliques, and then just like switch it up a little bit. There are <laughs> infinite number of different variations of the crunches or sit-ups or uh, planks that you can do to work out your core. So just make it different every day or at least every two, three days. So now we're gonna go to the pointers. How to do a, um, a uh, correct crunch. So we're gonna lay with our back on the floor. Our legs are gonna be hip width apart in an approximately 90 degree angle here between our calves and our hamstrings. We lay back and there's two ways to do that our, with our hands. We can have them across our chest or um, behind like our ears, like our behind our head to the side. So those are two ways we can um, have our hands. We should 
keep our, like try to uh, push or pull our belly button like to the floor. So push it like in so we have our back on the floor. And from here, we are going to lift only um, a couple inches off the floor, that our shoulders are a couple inches off the floor. So right there. And then we come down. So and everything moves like at once, like our head would like try to keep a neutral uh, neck and the spine and we just lift our shoulders, like when we feel they're like, yeah, a couple inches off the floor, and we go down. So um, it is recommended to, to get the most out of this exercise, to pause like two, three seconds at the, when you're up, and then slowly come back down up and slowly come back down. The breathing, we exhale up, we inhale when we go down. What are the main mistakes that can be done or are done when performing crunches? One is you pull the neck. You try to pull from the neck, this is gonna hurt you. And then if we try to pull it down like this, instead of just keeping a neutral spine, we go like this, this is gonna hurt your neck. So we try to keep it straight and don't pull the neck. Then two, we do them too fast. We go like this. That is not giving you the most out of the exercise. And then if you go up and then you just like go down and like rest at the bottom, it always should be in control. It should, all, all the muscles should be engaged the whole set. So if you do one, you pause, you slowly come back down and you don't rest here. As soon as your head, you go back up. So it's not like you don't let go of the contraction. Um, then, too fast and dropping down to um, that's another one of the mistakes so just watch for those things when you're performing the crunches so how can we do it more challenging we can hold the weight if we hold the weight then we're gonna make that crunch a little bit more difficult more challenging then um, what are the muscles at work? Uh, really quick. So there are a bunch of different variations and different ways to work out our abs. But like for the low upper abs, when we do the crunches, that's mainly what we're working. When you do any of the ones that involve lifting the legs, so when you go down like this or like this, like when the legs are on the air, you're gonna be working mainly, you're, you're gonna engage you know, all your core, but mainly you're working those lower ab muscles. And then any of the um, exercises that involve twisting, like when you are like here and you twist, or when you do these here, you're involving the obliques. So to keep it safe, what are um, things we have to look out for. People that have neck issues or back issues, you should talk to your doctor first before performing the crunches. So to make sure it is safe for you to perform this exercise. And also, if uh, women that are pregnant that are in their first trimester, is not recommended to perform abdominals or sit-ups. So hope you like this uh, Tuesday talk all about crunches. I'm gonna be uh, posting very soon uh, abdominal exercises, uh, abdominal routine, uh, so we can put all this in practice. Uh, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Keisha Space Fit Fun Style. There are a lot of different workouts, workout routines with bands, with um, weights, 
with no weights, hit workouts, uh, a lot, a lot of different uh, workouts and also some fit tips for you. So subscribe to my channel and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye.